Is Sinistra was entering an exciting new chapter in life in May 2020. He was studying music under the GI Bill after four years in the U.S. Marine Corps, was about to sign a lease on a Los Angeles apartment, and felt happy and independent. He also felt newly empowered to speak out about important social issues, which he said the Marines had always discouraged. So when George Floyd was killed by police in Minneapolis that month and thousands of people took to the streets of L.A. in protest, Sinistra joined them. I felt it was time to go do something that was right, he said. What followed would up in Sinistra's new life? The protest he attended that day in Pan Pacific Park turned into one of the most volatile in L history. Los Angeles Police Department officers trying to disperse the crowd shot Sinistra in the head with a beanbag projectile, part of an arsenal of so-called less lethal ammunition used for subduing suspects and quelling unrest. The incident sent Sinistra to the hospital for four days with bleeding in his brain. He spent the next two years in a blur of medical and legal appointments as he fought to heal and to hold the city accountable. That was really hard for me, he said, because it was just this period of time when I was feeling all this anxiety and trying to heal, and, it felt like, it was never going. Today, Sinistra, 26, has reached the other side. In June, he became part of a small but growing first wave of protesters injured by the LAPD in the spring and summer of 2020 who have since been paid cash settlements by the city to resolve claims of excessive force and civil rights violations. In total, the city has paid out $1.64 million in settlements to 2020 protesters. Of that, $1.00. 25 million went to Sinistra, by far the largest settlement to date. Other cases, including a large one filed by Black Lives Matter Los Angeles and other activist organizations on behalf of many wounded or detained protesters, are still pending. Sinistra, who speaks in measured tones, is covered in tattoos and has long, dark hair with a streak of red in the front, agreed to discuss the last two years with the Times to shed light on the grueling legal process and the true meaning of his settlement, which is a huge relief, he said, but not W. As the COVID-19 pandemic raged across America, protesters angered by the police killing of Floyd and other black people held hundreds of demonstrations. In L. A, the vast majority, more than 90%, were peaceful, according to the LAPD. Some, however, devolved into chaos, as crowds got rowdy, some people damaged property and set fires, and LAPD officers in riot gear moved in to clear the streets using batons and projectile weapons. The presence of police antagonized the crowds, and officers violated the department's rules for those weapons as the city instituted nightly curfews and things spiraled out of control.